I'm going to show you how you can work with division concepts, learn your division facts from a number grid up to uh, 12 by 12. All right, let me show you what I'm talking about. Here I have a 12 by 12 number grid, which I've shown in previous videos is a good way to learn your multiplication facts. And it's all based on multiples going across or multiples going down. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight certain numbers. Like, for example, let's start with 14. Now the number 14 has two multiplication facts you should know based on the column it's in and the row it's in, of course, right? And so we know that 14 is 2 times 7 and 7 times 2. All right, now if we reverse that and start thinking about division, we think of the number 14 and we try to figure out how to break that down, how to write it as a division fact. Well, of course, that would be 14 divided by 2 which it gives me 7 and of course 14 divided by 7 gives me 2. Alright now uh, what I think it's important to know is when I highlight a number like 14 you should be able to tell me the multiplication facts. Now in order to do that you actually be thinking about division. So um, you see the 14 highlighted and you think alright what goes into 14? What can divide into 14? And that's, of course, where we come up with these division facts here. So multiplication and division really is sort of a forwards and backwards type of thing. All right, they are opposite operations. So the best way to learn multiplication is to think of it in terms of division. And the best way to learn your division facts is to also know it as multiplication facts. So here's what we're going to do. If I highlight a number like 14, I want you to say out loud, okay, don't write it down or don't just think it. I want you to say out loud while you're watching this video the multiplication facts that give you that number. So you would say 2 times 7, 7 times 2. Now there could be more than just two pairs, all right? For example, let's look at 48. Now 48 where I've highlighted is 12 times 4, 4 times 12. But where else is it? Well, if I look at other places where it shows up in this chart, right there, how about 6 times 8, 8 times 6? Okay. So here are the other places where 48 shows up. All right. So, again, the uh, multiplication facts that comes from that learning division would be 8 times 4, 4 times 8, or 6 times 8, 8 times 6. All right, now we're, I'm going to highlight some numbers and I want you to try to figure out all the multiplication facts of that number. All right, here we go. Let's look at 20. 4 times 5, 5 times 4. Ah, but what else? Can you think of another way to make 20? Yes, how about 10 times 2, 2 times 10? All right, what about 45? 5 times 9, 9 times 5. And there it is over there. How about 72? 9 times 8, 8 times 9. Where else? 6 times 12, 12 times 6. Next, how about 32? 8 times 4. 4 times 8. Very good. How about 15? 5 times 3. 3 times 5. Very good. All right, 16. 8 times 2. 2 times 8. And, yep, 4 times 4. 44. Think about it. 11 times 4. 4 times 11. Now 2 times 22, of course, but we're only going up to 12, so that would not be in our chart. But it's really good to be thinking of those other answers, too. How about 21? 7 times 3, 3 times 7. 12. Well, the easiest one, of course, is 12 times 1. 1 times 12. What else? 
That's right. Six times two, two times six. All right, a few more. How about 42? Seven times six, six times seven. How about 63? 63. Yes. Seven times nine, nine times seven. 90. That would be 10 times 9 and 9 times 10. All right, one more. 56. Yes, 7 times 8. 8 times 7. All right, now I'm going to stop here. And you can obviously see the value of having a grid like this on a piece of paper. And, you know, pick a friend, a study buddy, uh, someone who can sit down with you and, and learn these. And again, it's a way to learn your multiplication tables and your division facts at the same time. So someone can look at a number on the chart and call out a number to you, and you think out loud all the different combinations that make that number. All right, it's kind of a fun, uh, very good way of practicing, and you can work on how fast you can do it. You can do it as a speed exercise. All right, well, thanks for watching this video. The next one to finish this video series on the multiplication facts is flashcards. We're going to go to a flashcard site and see how well you do. Thanks for watching.